In the UK, the British government is taking steps to crack down on rogue firms targeting children with free vape samples. It comes as recent NHS figures for 2021 show that 9% of 11 to 15 year olds use e-cigarettes up from 6% in 2018. We can go live now to Dr Nick Hopkinson, a respiratory specialist at Imperial College London and Chair of Action and Smoking and Health. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Is that a worrying, well, concerning figure that that um, percentage has gone up in terms of usage? Yes, no, it is. It is definitely a cause for concern. Uh, we know uh, very clearly that uh, vaping is much less harmful than smoking and that for people who smoke, uh, switching across to vaping is one of the most uh, effective ways to quit the habit. But uh, at the same time as trying to make sure that, that vaping is something that's available to smokers, we need to, to to really deal with this issue of young people, uh, you know, being able to, to to access vaping and finding it appealing and and taking it up. Why is it more concerning that teenagers are vaping compared to adults? Because there is a discrepancy in terms of how it impacts the body. Yeah, well, I think you know most adults who are doing it are, are doing it in order to to quit smoking, uh, and 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 that's a that's definitely a good thing. Uh, in in young people, I think there is a concern that uh, as the lungs are, are growing, that uh, you know lungs need to breathe clean air, and 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 if instead they're they're inhaling the material from e-cigarettes, even if it is, as I've said, much less harmful than smoking, it still will be causing some harms or maybe setting them up for uh, lung problems in the future. And in terms of the impact it has on the body, and um, you know, we hear, as you were saying. There's lots of positives about vaping, uh, particularly if people are trying to stop smoking. But there are there is impact uh, on our bodies if we continue to vape for for prolonged periods of time. Yeah, I think there's 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 two things. So for for for, for children, there's evidence that the the, the vapor can cause uh, some inflammatory changes in the lung, and that may interfere with the way that the lungs grow, so they don't reach their full potential. And it, it may also set up um, problems in the lung that make people more vulnerable to getting lung disease in later life. And obviously, if somebody starts smoking when they're when they're young and then carries on for a long time, over 10, 20, 30 years, it's likely that that will have some cumulative uh, impact. And, uh, you know, the same is the advice that we give to any uh, you know, adult who is smoking, who, who uses vaping to quit smoking, they should try to um, you know, they need to switch across completely and they should try, you know, in due course to, to stop the vaping as well if they can, but obviously not at the expense of, of going back to smoking. And so, Dr. Hopkinson, what, what do you think of this new rule then to close that loophole uh, to give out free vapes to uh, younger people? Um, I, I think it's it's um, it, it's important that the, this loophole is is, is closed, and in, in fact, um, you know, uh, some back bench amendments to the uh, Health and Social Care Bill in in twenty twenty one, supported by Action on Smoking and Health, would have would have done this. We we, we there was a there was uh, support to um, to to uh, stop. Uh, this this loophole that, that the free samples could be given to children, and also other measures that could have been introduced then to um, to, to to make e-cigarettes less appealing to children, uh, were, were, were there were unavailable as amendments to that bill. But unfortunately, the government voted them down. So it's uh, it, it, it's great that two years on, they're 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 now prepared to take some steps. But what is being proposed, even though it is it's positive, I mean, it will it, it, it's better that they do it than they don't do it. It, it, it it's really inadequate to meeting the the, the challenge. Um, one of the most important things is that is that e-cigarette is disposable e-cigarettes in particular, which uh, children are, are are using a lot, are really cheap. So the government could uh, introduce a, a five pound excise tax on uh, okay. on disposable vapes right now. Um, and that would mean that they weren't available for pocket money prices and would also mean that as a, as a, as a good that had yes. uh, you know, an excise tax on it would introduce a, a number of other ways that they could crack down on, on illegal sales. So, you know, the government knows what to do. It just needs to get on with it. And, uh, you know, this is this is a good measure, but it's only a small thing and they need to do the, the serious business that needs to be done to, to crack down on youth vaping. OK, Dr. Hopkinson, thank you very much for joining us. And um, if you're at home, you're interested in this story, you can read more about it on our website, bbc.co.uk forward slash news.